Okay, let's start. Okay, thanks. Thank you for meeting me here. Um, I hope that uh, this presentation uh, will let you uh, and I try to uh, respond to all the questions that you uh, could have. Um, the first uh, is uh, introduce me. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer. Um, I did a master and MBA uh, of uh, IT uh, companies. Um, I was several years ago a uh, former technical director of a company, uh, a reseller of SolidWorks, a CAD system uh, in Spain, in Portugal. Um, I spent over more, uh, over uh, 10,000 uh, uh, hours uh, in CAD, uh, CAD training and development in uh, several CAD uh, platforms, in several uh, tools and applications. And um, a few years ago, I, I started my own company, it's C2I, Change to Improve. And we are partners of uh, OnSafe, it's a, a CAD system that is working in, in, in the cloud. Uh, I will talk, uh, talk about that uh, later. And uh, we are also partners of Odoo. We are uh, actually uh, learning partners, but uh, we um, want to, to become uh, ready partners uh, in, in the next months. So, uh, the idea to become here uh, came from a long way from these several years. Uh, first, when I was the technical director with a, that uh, um, uh, SolidWorks reseller, I have customers that ask me about uh, a customization to uh, export the uh, design information, the design, design data into a data sheet, into their own system, into several systems, several applications. So I have several uh, customers asking me about that. So when I start my own company, I decide to start a new project to integrate uh, that CAD systems with ERP systems. At that time, uh, we evaluate several ERP systems uh, um, because uh, our customers don't, don't have a, um, a main uh, champion in that uh, ecosystem of uh, application or ERP in uh, engineer and manufacturing uh, companies. Uh, we start to um, look at uh, open source uh, systems and that led, uh, led us to, to Odoo. So, um, <clears throat> Why the, the CAT and ERP integration? Well, the, um, actually the, the, the issue here is that companies with uh, engineer um, or design and manufacturing, uh, they put all, uh, a lot of information, a lot of data in the design uh, process. And mostly that information doesn't move away from other departments. The information uh, is born grow and die in the engineer department. It's not moving away from the purchase department, administrative department, inventory, so on. So uh, that's uh, um, a huge uh, a lake of uh, that synchronization, lake, lake of synchronization leads to errors, duplications, a lot of efforts from several people in the same company doing the same thing. So, uh, if we are uh, let that people uh, introduce the data one time and just one time, uh, so and share all the information, that will help you uh, help that uh, a lot. So let's imagine how it should be, and it should be a uh, design team design the products, put all the information. I put a name, I put a uh, part number, I put a material, I put some kind of reference, some kind of properties to that parts, to that components. And then share and export, share, export and share that information in real time with the rest of the company. So uh, the rest of the company in real time, they have all the information from the design team. So. We figured out that uh, a few years ago, and we started a project uh, to integrate uh, two uh, main platforms, 
Odoo at uh, ERP system and SolidWorks as a CAD system. Uh, that uh, is working for several years, and uh, that uh, is the price is uh, 1,500 uh, per year in company, not per user, it's per company, and with a uh, cost in the first uh, year uh, in the implementation of the uh, initial setup and training, uh, but it's just in the, the first uh, year. So we did that, and uh, how is, this is how it looks, um, but um, I will show you later um, if, if there are any um, questions about that. Uh, there is a tool inside SolidWorks, inside the CAD system, to connect to Odoo and to export the information to Odoo. Okay? So there is four parts, the login, a property form is an easy way to introduce the information inside SolidWorks parts, inside SolidWorks components, a common launcher, mainly the sport option, and the settings. And the settings are a way too long. There are a lot, uh, hundred, literally hundreds of options to settings that add in uh, and, and set how uh, SolidWorks will work with uh, OnSafe. Uh, sorry, with Odoo. Uh, so the idea is uh, have the uh, uh, real-time control of the project. This is the property form. It's a huge property form. Uh, every field here is customizable, so uh, um, a specific customer could uh, use a few ones, not all these uh, fields and so on. And uh, the new release will be uh, a few um, new options, very interesting. Export to Google Spreadsheets, export to Microsoft Excel, more commands, print all documents, create PDFs, export uh, uh, in several uh, formats, and more, and even uh, a performance improvement. So, but this is about CAD uh, and ERP in the cloud. So this is the history of CAD. And the history of CAD begins in the, night, in the 60s, but uh, actually, since the last century, there are no news no big news in the, in the history of CAD until the Onsafe uh, introduction. Okay, so Onsafe is um, CAD that is working in the cloud. It's the only system that operates completely in the cloud. It's the only system that provides full collaborative design in real time. That means that we could have two three or 30 engineers design the same product, the same component at the same time, in real time. Okay? That's not possible with a traditional CAD system with files management. Okay? And it's the only one that works on any operating system and device. OnSave is working in Linux, Mac, Windows, is working in iPad, iPhone is not a visual, uh, a visual. The iPhone, iPod, and Android uh, application is a full design CAD system in your mobile. Okay? So, that brings us, brings us a, a lot of possibilities. And we are partners of OnSafe, and we provide several tools to our customers. Templates, material libraries, expanded material libraries, profile libraries, more than 3,000 uh, profile libraries, component libraries, and custom features with a very, very specific features for specific issues and specific um, things that our customers need. So, I'm here to introduce the OnSafe and Odoo integration tool. This integration tool lets simplify the same data assignment thanks to OnSafe functionality. If we compare this, this tool with the SOLIDWORKS one, all that property form with all the, that fields that we see before is gone. All the data system, all the properties are set inside OnSafe with the tools and the uh, process that OnSafe provides, that is. 
and automatically calculate properties. We have several tools, custom features, that we provide to our customers and let now calculate automatically uh, some kind of properties, like the uh, different dimensions of the part, automatically calculated, or um, if I'm talking about uh, a seed metal part, the flat part surface, or the percentage of waste of that uh, surface. Okay? So there are a few tools to calculate that uh, automatic um, properties. And there are also tools that we provide to our customers to um, set properties to configured parts. I could set a part with different lengths and a range of length. No a length of 20, 30, 40, no, a range. It could be 20 or 21.30, whatever. Okay? And we provide some kind of tools to let our customers to set the properties for every configuration, every length, every option of that part. More. The property card is gone in this tool, in the Onsep and Odoo integration uh, add-in. And the configuration options are very, very easy if we compare that with the SOLIDWORKS one. It, uh, I think that right now I have the, there are less than 20 options in the settings. In the SOLIDWORKS uh, configuration tool, uh, there are more than 100 options. And even more, it's easier and it's powerful and it's bidirectional. So you can export information from the CAD system on SAFE to ADU, and you can check, view the information that you have of a product that you are open and see in the on SAFE, and pick and view the uh, information that you have of that part in ADU. So if the other people in the company set a price, set a cost, of that part, so the design team could see that price, that cost. Okay? You could export that custom properties that you uh, set in, in on shape. You can export also the manufacturing operations. You can export multi level bill of materials directly to Odoo. You can open a complete machine with more than a thousand components and export that thousand components with the uh, billion materials of all the levels to Odoo, okay? In one way, one bottom. And you can also export attributes uh, for product variants to Odoo. So that's the look of that tool. That is uh, a tab in the Onsafe application with the same login Common launcher and settings. There are no property form. More. You can also create a link from Onsafe, in Onsafe, uh, to the uh, product in Odoo. So you can um, press that link inside Onsafe and go to the product tab, to the product form, and check that information. You can also update properties in Onsafe from system product, the cost, the, the, the price. Uh, you can also enable um, real-time calculation on uh, an assemblies. Uh, on say halves, like, uh, they talk, uh, they call uh, um, aggregate properties. So if I have several components with a cost, I could create an assembly with that parts, and that aggregate property will calculate automatically the total cost of the assembly. So that turns on shape into a modern, powerful, flexible online budgeting tool. You can create your own budgets in, in, in on shape, and even then export that to Odoo. It's coming soon. Uh, we'll be uh, ready in on Safe App Store and probably 
maybe in the Odoo App Store too. The price will be 450 euros per year and user. And it also includes a free access to all the tools that we provide with our uh, Onsave C2I business program is valued in 2,000 uh, euros. Uh, I want to introduce now that early access promotion. That early uh, access promotion with this 30% uh, discount uh, that we provide for the first 50 customers on purchase made before January 1. Okay, so other benefits besides that are two video conference sessions of one hour with that customers to figure out what, uh, what else they need, they want, or the process that they want to use. Uh, priority technical support and priority in defining new options and features for the uh, uh, on-save and Odoo integration tool. Okay, I think that uh, maybe more or less in time. Yeah. So if you have any questions, I will more than glad to, to answer. Thank you, Eduardo, for your presentation. I have uh, three questions from, from the audience. Um, the first one is how much uh, time, on average, a company would save with such an integration? That, that depends on the company. Okay. Uh, if your company just uh, create, design a few products with few parts, mm -hmm. uh, you will not save a lot of time. If your company is creating big machines with thousands, of, thousands parts. of parts, I don't know how much that would be, but probably that company would never put all that information inside Odoo because it's the time, time is is too much. Yeah. Um, and how complex are these integrations uh, to be deployed? I mean, how much time would it take and how much effort you, uh, would it be take to deploy the integration uh, between Onshape and Odoo? Well, the, the SOLIDWORKS and, and, and Odoo integration tool mm -hmm. uh, has a training when we uh, run the, the configuration, the settings of the, of the tool. And that's a 20 hours training. Mm -hmm. With this tool, they are not training. Mm -hmm. It's very, very easy, the configuration, the setting, and uh, the customer directly could do that. And uh, you mentioned that it's going to be published on the, uh, on the marketplace of Odoo. Uh, yeah, and uh, your and, and there is a, another uh, marketplace of Onshape. Oh, yeah. On Onshape, and when is it going to happen? Sorry, when is it going to be published? Uh, the soon. <laughs> okay. There's not uh, a dead uh, time, but soon. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, that's all. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you.